Lord have mercy, you guys, the mess I get into. So, as you can see, we have a lot of property. Even on the front side, we have to weed eat and trim. Plus, I keep this whole property line trim or spray. I'm going to have to trim it. It's got so big. <clears throat> so, until my foot gets better and I figure out what's wrong with my kidneys, I'm going to have to put this down. Of course, those are my favorite rocks. I got more on the front. As you guys know, I'm a rock kid. I love them. And this is my favorite one. 300 pounds. So, let's see if I can get that thing picked up and moved on a piece of fabric. And no, I am not going to record that. No, sir. Not gonna happen. See, I got all this here. I, mean, I hadn't been able to weed eat this year because of my foot. Right there. All up through here. I'm working on that too. Uh, one of y'all had asked about my foot. Well, here's what it looks like. This here is the worst part. It is hard as a brick. It really hurts. Y'all can't tell it that much, but it feels like I'm walking on hot coals if I walk on it a certain way. But this place right here, it's getting bigger by the day. So I'm not giving up on anything. I'm too damn hard headed. So much I gotta get done. You ever had one of the days when you stand outside and you just stare at the things you gotta get done and you get pissed off at yourself? So that's why I'm out here right now because I got so mad a few minutes ago. I was like, screw it. And this is another one of my favorite things. I've got a couple people, well, four people wants to hire me to do them a walkway. That's my rock walkway. I hell is photo bombing. <clears throat> I've done this all myself. Prissy ass, look at that. All these are all out of the creek by myself. I gotta fix my lights. I'm gonna take all this up. Put the lights in the ground better. And these are creek pebbles that comes out of the creek. I just like just sitting and looking at them individually. Little layers of quartz. I like that one. It was like a coffin donut. Yeah, wild one. There you go. Find you one. You put it in your truck now. Might give you an overweight ticket going across the scale. So that's about it. And this here is called a, a fire fringe flower. I'm going to put them all the way down in front of the house. Those three shrubs are coming up. I don't want green. I'm tired of everything green. Green this, green that. And... That's my favorite shrub. And it gets a three foot by three foot. As my lilies, they started out as one little tiny bulb and look at them this year. I've got to move them to the center right here. But look at my wild strawberry plants. Ah, oh, shit. This tree here, I found out is called a, uh, it's a cypress. Uh, oh, shoot. A cordial cypress, something like that. I'll figure out the name. I'll put it in the description. This is a old English boxwood. 
You can't buy these in the stores. And we were on a mini honeymoon in Pigeon Forge and walked out in the back and a great big huge one, probably 30 feet tall by 30 feet wide. It was huge. I might have fucked up by putting it there, but I don't care. I probably don't have five or ten years left on me, so I don't care. But I got as a little start. A little twig about like that. I broke it off about two inches and it's got to be this big in about I don't know five years something like that. Of course my buildings have got to be cleaned out. Y'all like my chair I sit on out in the yard working? Actually I need it. So here's just a glimpse and look at my mess. I got an azalea there a Nandina there and another Azalea there and I've got to move them so that's about it travels around my yard a couple of y'all was wanting to see what I do with my rocks so there you go that looks like shit but I think what we're going to do is on the end of the house here we're going to extend out a cover onto this building and then, hopefully, check out this rock. Check it out. It flakes really easy, but look at that. Beautiful colors. I have a big one inside. I took it to Virginia Tech and had them to tell me uh, what I was in it. And... Uh, that was one of them that broke off of it. House. So. I'll put it down in the description also. And then next year. We're going to put a. Cover all the. Over the back deck. And. My trailer. Oh I'm sorry Alice. You're walking too close. I'm sorry. My freaking trailer tire. I can't get it off you guys. Look. I've done everything. I can't get it off. Everything possible. It's pissing me off. I need that trailer on the four wheel. So next year, I'm going to take this banister off. Put a step and a step and then a platform and then three steps out here. So we don't have to walk all the way around there just to get off the back deck. And then my neighbor has a antique gate that I'm going to put at the very top of it right here. The gate is absolutely beautiful. <sighs> kind of looks, it's antique, but it looks kind of Victorian, I'll say. So there's my junk. Y'all don't see my rocks. There you go. No, smart ass is not that kind of rocks. Thank y'all for traveling with me.